is any young person ever gonna own a home? It's maybe hate old people. I see a few of you in here tonight. I hate you. Because every old person in a city like LA or New York or London is the same. They're like, my house is worth $2 million. But when I bought it in 1981, I paid 11 raspberries for it. <laughs> And every young person's like, I have nine roommates! <laughs> we each pay $11,000 a month. Although I missed the payment last month, he took a toe, I walk in a circle now. Every single one of us is a lawyer except for Ted. He's a dog with rabies, and we love to get him out, but his name is on the lease. And every single old person's like, I'm a librarian with a home at the beach. Go f*** yourself. Story time about how my wife is trying to turn herself into Kim Kardashian with plastic surgery. She even acts and dresses like Kim Kardashian. Disclaimer is not my story time. I sent me on Instagram. My wife has always been a beautiful woman, but ever since 2016, she started talking about getting plastic surgery. Of course, I supported the idea. We are both business owners and we lack no money. She even looked at the plastic surgeon that Kim Kardashian uses and we went to visit him in Beverly Hills. He told my wife that with three surgeries, he could make her look like Kim Kardashian. When I heard three surgeries, I got really scared and tried to talk her out of it, but she was obsessed and said that she would do the surgery. I had no choice but to just support her. We stayed in Los Angeles for two weeks in a hotel while she recovered. Four months after her surgery, she was really happy with the results. But then she started changing her face. And this is where I started to put my foot down. She began to get all sorts of fillers in her face. She even did that thing where they lift the corners of your eyes and your eyebrows. By the end of the year, she had spent over a hundred grand on surgeries. She basically got her whole body done. I will admit her body did look amazing, but the face was the problem for me. The woman I fell in love with was not the woman that she was anymore. Her lips were ginormous. It was like kissing a pair of balloons. Part two is up. Part two of how my wife is trying to turn herself into Kim Kardashian with plastic surgery. Disclaimer is not my story time. I sent me on Instagram. After she started getting all the fillers to her face, it really changed and she did look different. I didn't like it. Her lips were way too big. It got to the point where I was actually embarrassed to take her around my parents' house. Like I said in part one, her body looked amazing, but her face just wasn't it. I told my parents about how I felt and they told me I should just be honest with her. So I explained to my wife that I didn't like her new face. I asked her if she could get some of the filler dissolved, not all of it, and she totally flipped out. She said I was being selfish and insensitive. Sensitive, so I had to drop the conversation, but things started to get even worse She started getting a lot of attention from men everywhere We'd go guys would stare at her and she would constantly get hit on even in front of me I'm not the type of guy to get into fights like that But I was really close sometimes like I said, she also started dressing like Kim Kardashian She would buy all the clothes from skims and she would basically wear lingerie out to dinner I asked her if she could put on a jacket once and she told me that I didn't understand her fashion This is when she also started posting a lot to Instagram her Instagram was growing really quickly and all she kept posting were thirst traps. Once again, I asked her if she could take down some of her posts, but she said no. She obviously enjoyed all the attention and this made me really insecure. I asked her if there was something that was lacking in our relationship, but of course she said no. One day she got a DM from a very famous athlete asking her to go out. She joked about having an open relationship and how much better her life would be if she was single. This cut me deep. Part three is up. Part three of how my wife is trying to turn herself into Kim Kardashian with plastic surgery. Disclaimer is not my story time I sent me on Instagram. After she started getting DMs from all these athletes, my insecurity got so bad that I asked her to close her Instagram. Then one day out of nowhere, she asked me if we could have an open relationship. Of course I said no. Then she threw a tantrum and told me that all her surgery would go to waste if she wasn't able to date other men, especially all the famous people that were sliding into her DMs. I couldn't believe what she was saying. I felt like I had to agree to the open relationship, otherwise she would leave me. Now she goes on dates with all these athletes. One of them even flew her out to New York. My parents and family want me to get a divorce but I don't want to. I still love her and after all she's my wife. Now she's even buying all the designer clothes that Kim Kardashian posts on her Instagram. If you looked at her Instagram you'd think you were looking at Kim Kardashian. A few days ago she ripped my heart out by telling me that she didn't want children. She had worked too hard and paid too much money for her body and she didn't want to ruin it now. That's when I grabbed her phone and took it away from her. I locked myself in the bathroom and deleted her Instagram account. I even deleted all the male contacts in her phone. I told her I'd cut her off financially if she doesn't start behaving again. My family thinks I'm becoming too obsessed with her but I don't want to let her go. Now she's not talking to me because of the whole Instagram thing. I also threw away all of her skims clothes. Part of me thinks I should just let her do whatever she wants and still stay with her. I love her too much. What should I do? Am I the asshole for kicking my husband out of the delivery room? Me and my husband just had our first baby and my husband was so excited and supportive throughout the pregnancy. Well, the thing is, he's became slightly obsessed with watching videos of husbands pulling pranks on their wives in labor. I didn't mind until he started talking about doing the things he saw in the video saying it would be funny. I stated my distaste for them and asked him not to do anything like that and he agreed. He would still joke about it but I brushed it off because I trusted him. Well the day of delivery came and I had been in labor for 8 hours. I just finished another round of contractions when my husband let out the largest fart turned to me and said what the hell have you been eating? 
It smells disgusting. I immediately recognized that as one of the pranks. Am I the asshole for kicking my husband out of the delivery room? Outraged at him not honoring what I asked him to do, I demanded that he leave the room. He started arguing saying that it was just a joke, but I insisted and luckily the nurse helped me get him out. I went through the last four hours of labor by myself since my family lives out of state and I'm not close to my mother-in-law. After delivery, I told the nurse he could come back into the room and he was fuming. He started demanding that I tell him why I kicked him out and I calmly told him the reason, but he was pissed. He hasn't talked to me in a week and his mom is saying that I was a complete bitch for kicking him out. Normally he would defend me, but this time he completely agreed. I think I might be the asshole because I know how excited he was for the birth and to cut the cord. This is why you should always lock your front doors. A kid living with both of his parents decided to watch a movie for their family weekly movie night. He then gets up to use the restroom. As he is in the restroom, he sees all of the power in the house cuts off. And then he hears two loud thumbs. He locks the bathroom door and hears heavy objects being dragged across the hallway. The kid freaking out runs out of the bathroom and runs into the restroom. Once he is inside the room, he locks the door. As he locks the door, he jumps in bed and acts like he's asleep in hopes that this person who is in the house will ignore a child sleeping. He closes he closes his eyes and hears the door creak at the same time. He squints his eyes and sees a man with no eyes dragging the bodies of both of his parents. The man dragging his parents sits his mom's dead body in a chair facing him and then sets the dad's body on the floor facing up. It was almost like whoever was in the house who killed them wanted him to see it. He then sees the man writing something on the wall and then climbs under his bed. He laid there for hours knowing that if he moved a muscle he would end up just like his parents. He finally built up enough courage to read the wall and the writing on the Am I the asshole for kicking my husband out of the delivery room? Disclaimer, this is not my story. I, 23 female, my husband, 24 male, just had our first baby. My husband was so excited and was super supportive and caring throughout the pregnancy. The only thing is that he became slightly obsessed with watching YouTube and TikTok videos of husbands pulling pranks on their wives while in labor. I didn't mind at first, but then he started joking about doing the things he saw in the video, saying it would be funny. I clearly asked him not to do anything like he saw. He agreed and continued to joke about it from time to time, but I brushed it off since I trusted him. The day of the delivery came and I had been in labor for eight hours. I had just finished another round of contractions when my husband let out the loudest fart, turned to me and said, what the hell have you been eating? It smells disgusting. for kicking my husband out of the delivery room disclaimer this is not my story i immediately recognized it as one of the pranks in the videos i demanded that he left the room since i already told him not to do any pranks he started arguing saying it was a joke but i insisted and the nurse kicked him out i went through the last four hours of labor by myself since my family lives out of state and i'm not close to my mother-in-law after the delivery i told the nurse he could come back into the room and he was mad he started demanding that I tell him why I kicked him out. I calmly told him and he was pissed. He hasn't talked to me in a week. His mom is taking his side saying that I was a bitch for kicking him out. I might be the asshole because I know he was looking forward to being there for the birth of our first kid. I'm the asshole for cheating on my girlfriend with her best friend. I know it sounds terrible, but I'm just going to give you guys the whole story. I always really liked my girlfriend's best friend. And let's just call her Emma. But... When I realized I couldn't get with Emma, I started to also fall for my now girlfriend. My girlfriend and I have been together for about three years now. And I eventually did lose feelings for Emma. But they eventually came back. Emma started hanging out with my girlfriend a lot more and would even third wheel with us. I eventually saw myself talking to her more than my girlfriend. One day, Emma just straight up asked me if I liked her. And I said yes. I told her I would break up with my girlfriend for her. But she knew my girlfriend really loved me and she didn't want to break her heart. So we just snuck around for a little bit, hoping that the feelings would just kind of wear off. But they never did. Anyways, my girlfriend found out and now she's livid with me.